Hi guys! A little update on the crypto markets. I have uh, sold Monero um, for the most part. I just keep a very small position because uh, it's actually a coin that uh, is useful uh, if you want to do private transactions so I might uh, need some of it in the future but as an investment I was able to sell at uh, 26 um, versus Bitcoin I bought it at 15 so it's up but in the meantime Bitcoin is up a lot uh, I think it was around thousand or thousand five hundred dollars and now Bitcoin is four thousand five hundred dollars so uh, an investment that goes up versus Bitcoin is of course amazing uh, and, and Monero are delivered um, but uh, finally because um, it uh, it had been uh, really uh, lagging on all other cryptos since early 2017 um, uh, its last pump was uh, in 2016 um, so so I'm happy that happened but for me like I see so many weaknesses also in Monero but in all cryptocurrencies um, also in Byteball I mean in all, in all projects I see many weaknesses and, and um, um, for example in Monero it's a proof of work coin um, um, it has uh, also rising transaction costs um, uh, and, and this is due to the the, the erroneous um, uh, belief of uh, many uh, cryptocurrency developers that um, uh, the blockchain is um, uh, a limited supply um, service and and so it's okay to ask um, um, an increasing amount of money uh, to get your place in the blockchain uh, but this is really not true like the blockchains are not limited uh, in uh, in amount of um, capacity that, that they can hold um, it is it is limited but it goes up as the power of computer processing power and storage goes up and this goes up very fast and so of course the blockchain its size eh, should go up very can go up very fast also um, uh, but uh, and, and to keep it uh, decentralized um, well um, you, you need to keep it um, uncensorable that's something different than decentralized um, if you can keep it uncensorable in different ways then you should uh, find those ways and, uh, and and offer them because maybe decentralization is too expensive as a as a, as a solution to get uncensorable um, currencies um, uh, so so that's a challenge of a developer uh, but as an investor you need to look at um, at what developers are building and 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 and, and of course uh, what customers will uh, adopt and customers will not adopt a coin that uh, goes up in uh, in 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 that has trans high transaction costs so monero is failing there uh, like so many other proof of work coins bitcoin of course as a leader is totally failing there um but uh, luckily bitcoin cash has uh, a fork uh, bitcoin has a fork called bitcoin cash where they uh, are not having this wrong attitude that um, that we live in a, a world with many limitations and, um, and 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 so just hike up the prices and then people will use less of it uh, you see that also in politics a lot um, uh, but uh, in, uh, politicians can afford uh, many stupid mistakes they can still be uh, <laughs> voted again into office but um, but as a businessman uh, you can't do that you will go broke uh, and um, because customers in the end uh, need to pay with their own money the bills unlike uh, politicians uh, where uh, people pay uh, with other people's money uh, people vote politicians into office uh, but they don't have to pay the bill for that but customers do have to pay the bill and customers they may have all kind of crazy political ideas but when it comes to their own wallets they don't like to pay too much uh, so when you have an expensive coin even though you uh, offer great well features like Monero uh, uh, great uh, um, it's uh, one of the best coins when you want to have privacy that's true but it comes at a higher and higher cost and that's not 
Okay, and it's um, uh, you, you notice that this 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 developers lead developer of um, of of Monero uh, Fluffy Pony uh, also believes that uh, the scaling needs to be done off chain. On chain is possible, but very limited. So they need to also find off chain solutions. The same as the Bitcoin Core devs believe, and this to me is disappointing uh, to see. Um, uh, and, and, and I think uh, we, we will get a very different uh, future for uh, cryptocurrencies and Monero chose the wrong, the wrong uh, kind of uh, people to, uh, to, um, to follow. Uh, the same with Litecoin uh, leadership, um, Mr. Lee, uh, he also went totally uh, with the Bitcoin core devs believing in, uh, in um, Segwit and Lightning Network was even first before Bitcoin to adopt this and there is a big part of the market that has, has rewarded this and that thinks this is the future uh, and I also think off-chain scaling is very important but you can't neglect on-chain scaling this is the whole point of cryptocurrency and, and, and it's unbelievable that such a big part of the cryptocurrency community has chosen that direction that makes investing a lot more easy because it's very difficult uh, to um, beat a leader um, because he has the network effect in its advantage as, as Bitcoin had from the start uh, unless they make really stupid mistakes there was a great uh, a question um, someone asked me what where do you think cryptocurrency will be in five to ten years um, uh, which one will be the the winners and which one will be the losers and I told him in the comment section that's very difficult to ask, uh, to see, or it's like asking in 1995, who will be hey, the, 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 the ones that conquer the internet, that will become the winners. And I was thinking a little bit more about that. And in 1995, you had Netscape that just broke through with the browser eh? and the, 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 they invented the browser. And, and, and this made surfing on the internet suddenly accessible for the layman. Eh? Uh, this was a great innovation and really broke open the internet because before it was just some networks but for geeks only. And, uh, and, 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 and the internet browser really made a big chance in it. So Netscape was a leader but you also had Yahoo who was offering different uh, portals to the internet like uh, they offered news and email and, and was one of the first big portals. Uh, you had AOL, American Online, then uh, that was was offering um, internet uh, provider services, uh, uh, small band at the time, uh, via the telephone, and you could buy a router from them and, and, and get a CD for free and install the software on computer and have internet. And so these were the leaders in 1995. But what ended up happening was, uh, well, first you had a big bubble, uh, and until 2000, these companies went up a lot in value. But in the meantime, new players came in the market. Google already existed also in 1995, 96, or was it 96, but was unheard of. Even at the big dot-com bubble in 1999, in, 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 uh, nobody was talking about Google. But that ended up as one of the big winners. Uh, five years later, uh, the same for Amazon. Amazon was known, uh, but it was really... a looking very bad financially for them they were growing rapidly in 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 in, 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 in selling books online but the the financials looked terrible um and and, and uh, so so the big heroes of 1995 was not amazon not google but it was netscape it was yahoo and it was aol and these three companies all failed terribly uh, they went up a lot in, in, in share value until 2000, but after that they collapsed really hard because they had made so many stupid decisions. Um, uh, they, they, uh, they totally lost market share. Um, Netscape lost the, 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 the browser war to, to Microsoft with Internet Explorer because they held on to stupid business models, eh, asking money for an Internet browser. Um, and then later, after losing a, a lot of market share they, they, uh, to, to, to Microsoft, they, 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 they make it free, but they still ask money to, 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 to businesses. Allez. Uh, they had ended up having to sell the whole business to Yahoo or AOL. Uh, so the founders made good money, but the whole business, basically, the market was totally lost. Uh, and the same for Yahoo, who had 
And this is very interesting. They had really a very good business. They made tons of money because they had these, these, these portal sites and everybody wanted to be on that portal site. They, they asked a lot of money for that. And so a lot of media companies that want to get on the internet train paid a lot of money to Yahoo. This is, it was a really big cash cow. And so if you looked at the time as an investor, you say, oh, wow, this is a great company. I'll invest lots of money into it uh, because they make real money. Unlike Google, for example, at the time, they, they had a totally different vision of what, uh, uh, they should, they, of what a portal site should be. They said it should be empty. The only thing you should have is a search engine. And it was a very different vision that, mm, that didn't show money. <laughs> and so they even asked money. They didn't ask money. They grow, grew fast in adoption, but there was no business model. They, they didn't make any money. So it was very hard to see as an investor in 1995, 6, 7, uh, which are the winners here? Um, because actually it looked very different. It looked like Yahoo would be the big winner and Netscape and American Online. But none of these made it. Uh, it was Google that took over the whole business of Yahoo, um, Microsoft that took over the whole business of Netscape, and uh, AOL totally fucked up buying media company uh, Warner Bros. And, um, and basically got a lot of new competition. And um, yeah, um, it also, also was a terrible investment later on. So uh, this is the same challenge we have as investors today in the cryptocurrency market. And, 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 and I have the impression uh, it's gonna be the same. Like the leaders of today will not make it after the bubble pops. Uh, they gonna get, like at first the value can go up a lot. Um, but over time, their fundamentals look so bad uh, for Bitcoin, for example, eh, rising transaction fees, um, uh, just no innovation. Eh? They are not really like, like cryptocurrency is not only about money. It's indeed about um, uh, smart money, smart contracts. So you can do a lot more than send money without counterparty risk. You can send money with conditions. Eh? Uh, you don't need all these middlemen anymore, like notaries and bookkeepers, and because you could all like uh, make this automate this. Eh? Um, and, 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 and Bitcoin is not building this out. Eh? Um, uh, it's even worse. Like it used to be a coin without counterparty risk, and the systems they are building create part counterparty risk, like this uh, Lightning Network, and and. Um, or maybe it does not create counterparty risk, but it just introduces more barriers to just uh, just do transactions. So, so, I, so that that's my impression. That the but it's the same for many other leaders. I think uh, like Litecoin, uh, it's just exactly the same problem as Bitcoin. Um, and uh, what what else do we have? Um, uh, well, there's just a lot of hype in the market also, like IOTA, for example, valued 3 billion, but for what? What? It's, it's just a story still today. It's, it's not used as a currency. It's the same as at the, at the time an internet company that, um, uh, yeah, is, is valued very highly. But of course, you have to be very careful because me at the time, as a more conservative investor, I would have also said like, mm, Google, why is this valued so high? It has no, it doesn't make any money. Amazon, why, why, why? like it's losing tons of money. Why is this valued so high? So I could have made certainly the mistake not to invest in these companies and invest in something like Yahoo because they are actually making money. So so, so, so it's, it's much, you have to be very careful. Uh, it's not just about making money. Uh, sometimes it's much better to not make money uh, and, and go for the right um, kind of business model. This was what Google did geniusly. Uh, uh, in the beginning, for years, they didn't have actually any uh, paid advertisements on the right side of the website. It was just a free search engine and they were totally financed by venture capital, but they were growing very fast in adoption. And so, uh, and so indeed, uh, once they introduced the business model by, by having also paid advertisements on the right side, they, they made like a lot of money and the business was started and the same for Amazon they lost a lot of money but 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 um, yeah they were um, able to create a business where they could have great profit margins uh, over time they were just not doing it in the beginning because uh, they want to 
increase in, 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 in expand in the amount of users, uh, amount of customers. And that was more important than making profit margins. And they could be financed by venture capital too. So, so that was the right strategy. Um, and, and later on, because uh, Jeff Bezos is such a great businessman, they've never made profits. But in reality, they make lots of profits. They just reinvested before the end of the year in expansion. Huh? Uh, and so that's how they built an empire. Um, and that's how they never pay taxes uh, on profits because they reinvest it. Um, so, um, but yeah, um, when it comes to cryptocurrencies, I think proof of work is already a very old technology, uh, very limited in, 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 in what it can um, uh, do. Some people claim that it's absolutely required. To, 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 to have a, a, a cryptocurrency that is not um, uh, that can't be uh, turned back eh? uh, in, 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 that can't be censored uh, but I'm not so sure that's true um, um, I'm not so sure about that uh, I think something like DAG technology uh, and also proof of uh, stake technology uh, all these can also be made in such a way that it's very 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 difficult to um, censor and eh, to turn back turn back transactions or to and, and it's also true that proof of work has also uh, weaknesses so I, I think different uh, technologies they have different weaknesses but um, but the most important thing is not uh, the technology it's it's um, it's uh, just um, it's running a good business. Uh, that, that, it, that's also true for a cryptocurrency. You can um, you can run a great business with stupid technology, and you can uh, run a stupid business with great technology. But uh, the stupid business will go broke, and the great business will not go broke. Uh, and it's the same for cryptocurrencies. Um, uh, it's just that the balance is made differently there. It's not about um, having profit on the books at the end of the year, and, but it is about um, uh, seeing increased user adoption. And I find this, uh, for the most part, disappointing in the world of cryptocurrency. The amount of um, new users that it attracts, it goes very slow. Um, but I have to say, Monero, for example, the amount of transactions continues to go up, and that's a very good thing, um, and, and that's great to see, and that's very important. But if you look at the growth rate, it's about um, times three uh, in, in like um, eight months, so let's say times four per year. Uh, that's good, that's good, but uh, I think we will get ma many other cryptocurrencies that will, will grow a lot faster once they get it right. So what I think Byteball does very, very good, well, what it does bad is it's indeed still very centralized. Um, so so by, the, the thing is, the developer, lead developer Tony, he doesn't seem to build out a team around him. And that's, I think, concerning. That's very important as a businessman that you build out people. You have to outsource your problems and you have to build out a team for that. You can't do everything yourself. It's not the way to build up things it's a wrong attitude and I don't see that happening I see it happening a little but not a lot like who was the second guy in, in Biteball I wouldn't know uh, so, so the, 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 as a businessman you have to as a leader uh, you have to put other people uh, and give them important roles and for example IOTA does that very well they're really building out a strong team I mean they on it seems that they're attracting a lot of people around it but of course it's uh, I think it's it's a little bit like with Dash eh? like uh, they also have a, uh, build out a, a big team that's true but then they are like a little bit in denial who's the real leader or in Monero also eh? like Fluffy Pony uh, they build out a, a great team a big team that's good but at the same time they go a little bit too far in 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 pretending that there is no leader which is of course not true luckily uh, and there is a, a leader uh, uh, in all of these projects clearly that if he starts to do stupid stuff the whole project will go down uh, you can uh, be sure of that um, but uh, but that's very important eh? so for dash that's uh, that's uh, I forgot his name um, uh, we, you you know who I'm talking about and and uh, for uh, for um, 
and for IOTA that's David and, uh, and CFB come from beyond. Uh, very likely David holds a very strong hand in the project uh, and will continue to do so. Um, uh, and of course every project is like that, the same for Bitcoin. Uh, uh, there is a... Uh, uh, no decentralization when it comes to who decides what's going to get implemented and what not also in Bitcoin not and that's okay every business is like that but it's very important to realize that that your future depends on these few people in every project um, and, and so what they do uh, will make all the difference what they decide and so for Byteball, uh, I think we, there is a very good leader, Tony, but he should build out a, a bigger team and give them bigger responsibilities. Um, and, um, and, um, uh, and the same when it comes to validating transactions. The way Byteball is built is that its witnesses do that. Uh, it's 12 witnesses. I don't know why it's only 12, but most of these witnesses are still controlled by Tony. So you can apply to become a witness uh, and people uh, actually, uh, people themselves, uh, when you send transactions, you can choose uh, who you want as a witness. But I think this is not a great uh, way. You should automate this so that uh, you have more and more witnesses. Um, like so, the, the mining of, uh, of, of, I think, Bitcoin with proof of work is, is better done in the sense that automatically you get more and more validators of transactions uh, and it's not some kind of, um, it's an election based on, on, on processing power, uh, not based on uh, people. And I think Byteball, I hope they, 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 they do something more in that direction or at least... Um, uh, yeah, build a business model at least around uh, these witnesses so that they can make money because, oh, there is, as a witness, you actually make the transaction fee, so you can make money. Somebody suggested I, I should do that, maybe I could, but I can't be bothered right now, I'm sorry, I'm too much work already. Um, uh, and so that's why it's important to build a business model around that people don't work for free, and I'm not sure how much money you can make in Byteball by being a witness. Um, but so what Bible does very well, I think, is, 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 is their vision on, on, on how to get it in the hands of the people. Uh, and, um, and, and so they are now starting with a discount. You, you get a money chargeback for when you start adopting um, Bible as a merchant. You get cash backs. I think that's a great idea, really. A really great idea so 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 that when you pay in cryptocurrency um, uh, you're actually gonna like um, make money um, as a merchant by uh, getting a piece of what you received uh, back uh, via cashback uh, I think that's great a great idea and just another great idea that may uh, uh, create much quicker adoption than the way Bitcoin has been adopted by merchants it has been slow eh? only on every pump you have a, a it gets adopted more uh, by merchants and then in every bear some merchants uh, drop off but it doesn't make economical sense to adopt cryptocurrency as a brick and mortar merchant even as an internet company uh, do you get that much more business thanks to adopting bitcoin mm, that's questionable i think especially if you then also deduct the extra costs you have as a company to accept cryptocurrency so so there needs to be um, better better just uh, solutions and i think uh, byteball is on the right track there um, and I want to say something more. So um, I continued to scale back uh, cryptos, sold uh, most of our Monero. I also sold out uh, the Zen coins. Uh, um, so Z Classic, uh, Zen forked from Z Classic, and uh, I bought Z Classic uh, so that I also had the Zen coins. And I like the name Zen, and I like the 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 the, the idea to to have a business model in a coin they do that well but what I'm missing is like not much has happened since I bought that coin to my knowledge I'm not looking for info about the project that's true but I thought the launch was not that great uh, just marketing wise and, and, and in a sense in a sense the idea is a bit you know uh, Z Classic is, 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 is forking from Z Cash and Z Cash has a business model eh? a piece of the inflation goes to pay for developers but uh, but then Z Classic cancelled that and then Zen introduces that again but then why not just go back to Z Cash that's why I sold Zen 
Um, it was also a very small position in my portfolio. This can be a successful pro project in the future, but yeah, I, I, I don't have much room for small projects. Uh, it, it also requires time too. Yeah, something I forgot to say that is very uh, <laughs> much in relation to this video is, is uh, a book recommendation. Uh, Julian Simon, The Ultimate Resource, because um, this this idea that we have a limited uh, amount of resources is very common, comes back a lot uh, with the core devs and many uh, cryptocurrency developers that the blockchain is uh, a limited supply and so um, it's okay that you pay a lot of money for it. Well, um, uh, the same you find in in in, in uh, just people believing that uh, the, the the earth uh, has limited amount of resources. Uh, the oil's gonna g g go up, and we have to be um, yeah um, we have to save um, uh, because and, and we have like, only so many people can live here on the planet because uh, yeah um, uh, and 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 this is not true. Um, I, I mean. Resources are not material, they are in our mind. Eh? Uh, we need uh, resources to fulfill our needs, but there are many different ways to fulfill them. And if a material resource is indeed limited in supply, like for example oil, uh, then um, although that's questionable, <laughs> many new sources of oil are found um, um, like shale oil, for example, uh, today um, is used a lot, but was non-existent uh, 50 years ago, but existed, but the human creativity hadn't found a way to exploit it. And um, and so the same is true with, uh, uh, with, with, with blockchains. If it is indeed a limited supply, which is highly questionable because it's just code. Uh, so if you code it differently, probably it can deal with a lot more traffic. Uh, but um, but let's say the invention of the blockchain is, is very limited in scalability. If that would be true, then well, another technology will be invented that is also offering uh, uncensorable transactions and that is scalable. So, um, uh, especially if the price goes up, uh, it is, uh, quickly another solution will be found. Um, it is just not acceptable that uh, a DI, a cryptocurrency that offers great, uh, great uh, improvements over fiat currency uh, would um, only uh, uh, be possible on a small scale. That's, uh, that's not acceptable. Someone will find a solution. Uh, and of course the solution is not off-chain transactions because that, I mean, blockchain is really an amazing invention. It's like... Um, you have um, bookkeeping um, and then you have a second entry bookkeeping. This was a great invention so that you can automatically track mistakes. If you, uh, you do your simple bookkeeping, you will, you will not be able to track mistakes. But if you do double bookkeeping, you will. And this has caused really a great uh, uh, boom in, in, in trade uh, thanks to having proper bookkeeping but the invention of the blockchain is comparable to such invention it's uh, basically you could call it third degree um, bookkeeping where not only can you verify mistakes immediately but you can also verify if the transaction really happened or not which you cannot with double bookkeeping eh? you can't trace transactions if they were real or not but you can with the blockchain so and, and if you're going to scale on a second layer, well, basically you're not having transactions in the blockchain anymore or, or it's in a, in a, in a, in a different layer where uh, verifiability isn't that good or where um, the security is not um, uh, for sure. Eh? Uh, if you, because the blockchain is not only the fact that you can um, verify transactions it's also you can't turn them back and that that's thanks to the security system but the security system works only if you do the transactions on that chain and if you pay uh, people that secure that uh, chain uh, so it's all related so um, but check out the book uh, of Julian Simon the ultimate resource because it really learns you that um, that that, that um, there is nothing limited about this world. Only our minds can be limited. But someone, some genius, 
will find a different solution and that will again open uh, our world, world uh, to new uh, possibilities and will satisfy our, our needs in a better way. So uh, yeah, uh, that's me uh, talking a little bit about the cryptocurrencies. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye. And look what an amazing place this is. Unbelievable. And now you guys can guess where I am. The beauty of modern nature.